that's as good as we're gonna get. You read the title. You know what's happening today. I have on this piece of paper a list of seven places where we are gonna go pick up coffee. These places are not cafes, nor are they roasteries. They are instead fast food chains. Now we've done a bunch of different stuff on this channel in terms of testing large quantities of coffees and deciding which ones are the best. We've done the entire catalog of Trader Joe's coffee. We've done iced coffee from grocery stores. Why not fast food coffee? So today we will be going on a field trip. Okay, here's the agenda for today. So we're gonna get ready to go and we are gonna go out the door to go pick up all of these coffees. Then we're gonna bring them back and we're gonna do a big taste test. We're gonna start off with just tasting them as is in the cups they were served in. After that, I'm gonna pick my top favorites and we're gonna put them through the cream test. Now, post cream test, I will... <laughs> After the cream test, I will pick my three favorites. I'm then going to put them into unmarked cups. I'm going to mark them underneath and then I'm gonna have someone else shuffle them for me. So we're gonna taste the top three favorites completely blind. That way, hopefully we will be avoiding any bias that might pop up. And then we will crown the best fast food coffee. So. Let's review the places I'm gonna go. And of course, this is very, very regional because I have different fast food chains than you might have. I'm a little nervous about going into all these places and just ordering a 12 ounce black coffee and that's it. But I've done weirder things on the internet, so it is what it is. We're starting off with the granddaddy of all fast food chains, McDonald's, of course. Next, we have Taco Bell, which I guess they serve coffee now. Burger King, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, Burgerville, and Subway. Okay, now before we totally pack up and go buy a bajillion coffees, I do wanna say thank you to Vessi for partnering with me on this video. Now, you've probably seen them before because I wear them all the time, but let me refresh. These are Vessi's. This is their weekend model of shoe. Now, I also have a white pair, but these are very well worn because these are honestly one of my everyday favorites, so I'm gonna set these to the side. I'm gonna talk about these. Now, even though I'm usually a boots person, both in my daily life and when I'm at work, I've really been switching over to Vessi's as my primary shoe. They're super comfortable, they look really nice with everything, and they're made with a dual climate knit material, so they're really, really breathable, but they also keep my feet super insulated. So let's say when I'm at work or during even the winter, during the rainy season, I'm not getting my socks all wet because that is the least pleasant thing in existence. And if you don't believe me that they're 100% waterproof, let me show you. This paper towel here, this is your sock. And now the equivalent of the usual amount of coffee I spill both in filming videos or at work. As far as I'm concerned, that is still a dry paper towel. Point being, these are the ideal shoe for me. So if you want your own pair of Vessies, Vessie has been awesome enough to offer my audience $25 off their purchase. All you have to do is click the link in the description and enter code MDC for $25 off. Anyways, I'm gonna go put my nice pair away. I'm gonna put my everyday pair on and let's head out. I mean like, I feel like the white is pretty snazzy. Okay, let's go get some coffee. Okay, all right, hang on everyone. So my partner who has infinitely more experience with fast food coffee than I do, just brought up a really good point. And that is the fact that we're gonna have a lot of coolage happening in between the getting the coffee and getting it back to here. So we're adding a fourth layer to this taste test, which is going to be tasting as we get them. I'm gonna rate them out of five stars upon initially purchasing them. And then we will factor that in to the overall experience once we bring them back here. Okay, let's head out now. Now you might be asking how I'm going to get seven coffees home in my tiny car. So I had a plan. <laughs> I thought about it this time. Um, I went to my work. I have two drink carriers, so I'm just gonna put those there. I've also routed our trip. So hopefully we're gonna do this in the most efficient way possible. We have seven stops. It shouldn't take us more than 45 minutes at max. So uh, fingers crossed. I always feel like Gojo when I do that nowadays. <laughs> Anyways, let's get driving. We have arrived at Taco Bell. Hi, uh, could I just get a black coffee? Sorry, we do not have coffee. Okay, no worries. I'll just pull through then. <laughs> okay, so the first Taco Bell I went to did not have coffee. It was on their menu, so I'm gonna go to a different Taco Bell when we get a little bit closer to another one and see if they have coffee. Okay, I think I've made it to Burger King. Uh, could I just get a medium black coffee? They had it, yes. 
Also, I'm not really sure why I left my mask on to talk to the speaker box. Uh, it just kind of felt right and force of habit. I think it's like if I'm talking to a person, no matter what the context, my impulse is to have my mask on. Awesome, thanks so much. Okay, first coffee has been acquired. Very exciting. I feel like I should do the the vlog. What's the what's the beauty vlogger thing where I'm like, we have our <laughs> we have our next product. <laughs> it's pretty smooth, honestly. Not too bitter. Right now, it is so incredibly hot that it's hard to taste a lot of the flavors that I might be able to get if it was cooled down a little bit. But initially, it's pretty nice. I would say it's really, really heavy on the chocolate side. This is probably a medium to dark roast is my guess. But yeah, really smooth, not too bitter, not too acidic. We're just starting out. I don't have a good gauge of what all of these are gonna taste like just yet. But my instinct as far as fast food coffee goes, I kind of want to give that a four out of five for initial taste test. Burger King gets four out of five stars. We're starting off so well, I'm excited. Okay, I can see the golden arches in that direction. So we're gonna go get a McCafe coffee. I know McDonald's serves coffee, but after our very first Taco Bell incident, I'm, <laughs> I'm checking all the menus very closely just to make sure they actually have it on there. Hi, uh, could I just get a medium black coffee? No, that's gonna be it for me today. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. This is very exciting. Oh, that is, that is scalding. Okay, so this one initially has a lot more acidity on the front of the sip. There's a little bit more bitterness to it. It's not nearly as sweet as the Burger King one was. I do also think that this one is significantly hotter than the Burger King one was, so I'm not getting like full sips just for the sake of like my palate. We're gonna have to keep judging it as it cools. So, for now, I am gonna give McDonald's, I'm gonna give it a two out of five for initial taste opinions. Okay, on to our next place. We have made it to Wendy's. Uh, can I just get a medium black coffee? Hi. Thanks, have a good one. Thank you. We'll say, I like how simple uh, the cups are. This is very nice. Another, another very, very hot coffee. Kind of roasty, it's very dark. Still kind of bitter. I think this is the darkest out of the three so far. Very, very dark chocolate. Has a lot of dark chocolate bitterness at the end of it. Not nearly as much on the front, but very much at the end, like it kind of just lingers in your mouth. As far as our list goes, I think it honestly falls in between the McDonald's and the Burger King. I think the Burger King is overall the best experience I've had so far. Pretty sweet, very drinkable. This one had some bitterness, but not nearly as much as the McDonald's. So I'm gonna put Wendy's at a three out of five. We keep going. Into the thick of it. Oh, there's Burgerville. Hi, uh, do you have coffee here? No worries, I'm just gonna get a medium lemonade then. Another bust as far as coffee goes, but I got myself a lemonade, so. I mean, something good is coming out of this. Perfect, thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Hi, uh, could I just get a regular black coffee? All right, my camera is overheating a tiny bit, so I don't know if we caught the last bit, but I have made it to Jack in the Box and I have got myself a coffee. This coffee isn't nearly as hot as the other ones, which might mean it's not nearly as freshly brewed, which is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, it's a lot easier to drink, so. I don't know, that's kind of a nice thing too. There's not a lot of acidity or bite to this coffee, but it's just kind of a straight up black coffee. There's not really anything interesting to it either. Uh, it doesn't taste super roasty like that Wendy's one did. Very, very reminiscent of the Burger King though. So with that being said, Jack in the Box is going to get a comparable four out of five. We still have to go to Subway and we still have to go to one more Taco Bell. This is highly unfortunate, but once again, the internet has lied to me and the Subway nearby me does not have coffee. So we're gonna go try one more Taco Bell. I'm also gonna try one other kind of surprise place that I think is very adjacent to fast food coffee. The sign says that they serve breakfast all day. And I feel like usually coffee is included in like the breakfast genre of foods. Okay, I'm looking at that and and, and that's that's coffee, right? Like I'm not I'm not going nuts. That that's coffee on the building. Hey, could I just do a regular black coffee? We actually don't have coffee. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all good. Do you have iced coffee still? No, we don't have any. Our coffee machine got taken away. Oh, no worries. Um, I'm all good then. I'll just pull through. <laughs> this is highly unfortunate. I love the idea that corporate has just stormed all the Taco Bells in the area and taken away their coffee machines. <laughs> okay, we have arrived at our last stop. 
Let me show you. Dun, da, da, da. At last, some semblance of success at 7-Eleven. So I have picked up the 7-Eleven breakfast blend. Oh, I also I also got myself chips. <laughs> It's got like this 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 slight bitterness at the end of it. It's a little bit punchy, like kind of like gets at you at the end. It very much lingers in the back of your mouth. There's almost something a little bit fruity about it at the beginning. I don't know, there's kind of like this sweetness, kind of like strawberries at the front. That fruitiness at the front really adds a lot of dimension to it. For 7-Eleven, I think I'm gonna give it four out of five stars, at least initially. So we no longer have seven coffees, we instead have five so with our yield let's go home let's taste them again as they cool let's pick our favorite okay well that was an adventure and a half but we have come back with some bounty not all the bounty i thought we might have but we have enough so let's get these all out on the table and let's start tasting i'm also just going to take a minute to enjoy my lemonade very nice we're also going to transfer into fresh cups for the rest of this Now we have a chance to taste all of them cooled down and considering what they taste like cooled down as well as what they tasted like boiling hot, we will then pick our favorites, which will move on to the cream test round. Right here we have 7-Eleven. Still getting kind of a bright fruitiness on the front end of it. As it cools, there is a lot more acidity on the back and it's not really a pleasant acidity. McDonald's. I don't know, this one isn't hitting for me. I would describe it simply as being bitter. Not even as being just acidic, I would definitely say this is like kind of a nasty bitterness on the back end. Not my favorite there, unfortunately. Burger King, this was the one we started out with. I really, really, really enjoyed this up front. So let's see now. This is still a very nice, very soft coffee. There's not a ton of flavor in it, um, but the flavors that are there are really nice. Uh, this is definitely on the sweeter side of all of these. If anything, I just wish that the flavors that are in this were slightly more accentuated. We're just like a little bit bigger. It's a slightly weak cup of coffee, but I'm still enjoying drinking it. Jack in the box. Hmm. Ooh. When this was quite hot, I don't remember it being this tea-like. This is much more akin to the Burger King coffee than it is to either of these two. This is a very, very soft coffee, low on the acidity. There's a lot of kind of like dark chocolate, kind of like that roasty, like not burnt, but just like a lot of the flavors that might've been possible in the coffee are just kind of like roasted out of it. And you're left with something that just tastes very flatly like traditional coffee. And we have our very last one, which is gonna be our Wendy's. This one I'm kind of neutral on. I don't have as many immediate criticisms of it as I do for the McDonald's one. Kind of like, kind of graham crackery too. Well, this just got a lot more difficult. Let us reference our list. Out of ones that I will not be pushing through to the cream test round, I think I'm gonna take McDonald's away. Unfortunately, this one has underperformed at all stages so far, so we're just gonna knock it out. Upon second pass, I think the other one that I'm not gonna be pushing through to the next round is gonna be this Wendy's one. There's just something about how flat it is that's not super appealing to me. So I'm gonna pass these two off. They will be knocked out, and we're gonna add some cream to our 7-Eleven, our Burger King, and our Jack in the Box. So for this to be as accurate as possible, I'm now gonna weigh out the amount of coffee I put in each one of these cups, and we will be adding an equivalent amount Amount of cream to each one as well. It's my favorite part of the videos always is just weighing things. 80 grams of coffee in each cup. And now to add half and half to each one. We're gonna be going with 10 grams of half and half into each cup. Time to taste. So first off, again, we have our 7-Eleven coffee. I'm gonna reserve on making comments until I taste them all. Next up, we have our tried and true Burger King. And of course, Jack in the Box. There was a significant improvement in the mouthfeel of both of these two. Adding the cream made them very, very well rounded. The flavors still come through super well, and overall it was still a very, very soft mouthfeel that kind of lingered and was very pleasant. Jack in the Box, however, less so. There is a lot of bitterness coming out with the inclusion of some cream that I didn't initially taste there completely when it was just black, which is kind of unfortunate, but also how it goes. Not all coffees are improved by adding cream or fats to them. So with that information, I would say that the Jack in the Box 
does not pass the cream test. So we're gonna knock this out of the running. So we are left with ironically the first and the last coffee we picked up today. I like both of these, but they're good for different reasons. This one still has a lot of that lightness and that fruitiness coming through, even with the cream added, which I very much like. It adds a lot of dimension to the sip because you get that kind of like brightness on the front and then it mellows out to like a very, very lightly acidic finish. This one doesn't have nearly as much dimension to the flavor, but it's been incredibly consistent, both from being hot to being cool, to having cream added. It's a very, very soft, well-rounded, just chocolatey cup of coffee. Now to decide which one is the best overall, I am going to get fresh cups. I am going to mark the bottoms of them. I'm going to add the coffee and then I'm gonna have my partner come in and shuffle them up. So I have no idea which one is which. And then we will be tasting blind. Okay. Once again, thank you as always, Graham, for the cameo and the mixing. Um, I've got my two cups here. I'm going to taste them, then we'll decide which one is best. You know what? I think I've made my decision. I am suspicious that I know which one is my favorite just because these two flavor profiles are vastly different from one another which personally I think is kind of fun. It's nice to see that there's a good healthy range in the lower end of coffee. And ultimately I am super happy that today we found a different array of coffees. I'm glad everything didn't taste the same, but that being said, I think I know which one is ultimately my favorite. That one is gonna be this one right here, which is the Burger King. <laughs> it's really nicely rounded. It's not too bitey. It's not really acidic or bitter. This whole day has been quite an adventure. We had the highs and lows of finding the coffees we wanted and then finding out that the coffee machine was taken from the store without explanation. And even though we didn't try as many as I maybe set out to try, I think we still got a nice selection and we had some fun while we did it. Now, will I stay on the lookout for Taco Bell coffee? Uh, yes. But for now, I'm very happy to report that there are some tasty coffees in the fast food world. I'd also be very curious to hear what your favorite fast food coffee is. So let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite because if I'm ever in the area where that place serves that coffee, I'd love to go try it. Now, before I totally leave you today, I do wanna plug one really cool thing uh, that I'm really excited about, is that uh, my merch is out. <laughs> um, this has been a long time coming and I am incredibly excited about the collection. Let me show you a couple other things we have. This right here is the oat milk latte design in a cropped hoodie, but have no fear. We also have full hoodies. This is the beans design. Uh, these are all unisex and they are super comfortable. Of course, we have t-shirts, we got hats, Pretty cute. And then we also just have so many different colors of everything. Anyways, I am super excited about all of this and I hope you are too. So if you would like to shop it, either click the link in the description or I will have it in the pinned comment. As always, it was a pleasure tasting coffees with you. I am Morgan Drinks Coffee on all platforms that I'm active on, including TikTok and Instagram, where I post almost every day. So I will see you next week. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>